Hello everyone, welcome to Commerce Ada. Please do subscribe to this channel if you are first time in this channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for getting upcoming notifications whenever I upload a video. So guys, in this video, I will be discussing some uh, one new concept which is there. A uh, types of three different types of reliability which is given by one author. I will be uh, telling you in a one shot and this is asked in the 2021 examination various shifts. Let us try to discuss that one. Before going further, I also teach at an academy uh, free and plus platform for the UGC net paper one and paper two commerce and management. You can just follow the simple steps to for, uh, get all my access to free live session on daily basis. Use the invite code Shiva live to unlock the free live session and join into my telegram group. That telegram group link is given in the description. If it is not opening, go to the telegram and search the name as commerce Adda UGC net so that you will get one group and join over there. All the updates you will be getting. So at an academy plus platform, my paper one, paper two, 10, 10 units, all the 20 units are being covered by me. So on 29th March, 7.15 PM, complete course on research aptitude will be starting with a chart wise presentation of both the paper one and paper two. Everything is going to be covered, all the 10 units. You can join me into the an academy plus platform. One an academy plus subscription will give you all the educators, paper one, paper two of any subject and the PDF, everything you will get it. And use the invite code Shiva Live to unlock the 10 percentage discount, whether it is Iconix plus subscription or normal plus subscription. So that is Kirk and Miller has discussed the three kinds of reliability which is asked in the 2021 examination. The three kinds of reliability is given. Kirk and Miller is author. So what is the author name? Please remember. Kirk and Miller has given three kinds of reliability. Actually, these three kinds of reliability is for what purpose? This will be for understanding the difference between difference between them. It will help you to figure out whether data that you have bothered in your qualitative study only, not the quantitative study. This type of reliability is useful in the qualitative study. Whatever the data that you collected for your qualitative study, is it sufficiently reliable or not? To know that one, you will be performing this, these three types of reliability test. That is for mainly not quantitative, it is qualitative study only, qualitative study only. First one is the diachronic reliability. Diachronic reliability, what is this? It is the reliability, first you need to understand what do you mean by reliability. Reliability means if something is true today, tomorrow, to, day after tomorrow also, present future. If something is true, if I perform the test today, it must be giving a result and tomorrow also it must give the same result. Day after tomorrow also it must give the same result. At a different point of time, if I am performing a test again and again, if it is giving a consistent results, that is what we believe it as and reliability. The belief of the people also will increase, trust also will increase on that particular outcome of a research. That is what a reliability. So your diachronic reliability is nothing but Stability of an observation over a period of time. Stability of an observation over a period of time. Actually, whatever the observation that we are making, it has to maintain a stability during the different different time periods. Over a period of time means as the time is moving on, it has to maintain a stability. Then only that is unreliable. Otherwise, no. Here, some examples uh, include the test and retest, which is experimental psychology and survey research. Let us try to take one example which we know. In the context of socio-cultural phenomena at which rate of change is rapid. By when the things are changing rapidly, the it will lose the stability, correct? Today scenario is not there in the previous 10 years. We were not that much habituated towards the digital activities previously in the last 5 or 10 years. But now the scenario got changed, everything is being digitalized. That means over a period of time, whatever the rates of rate of change is happening rapidly, obtaining results also being changed, whatever the results also changing rapidly. Now look at the example of gender discrimination. By gender discrimination is the best example. It is believed that or it is seen that over the past few years, women participation in the workforce has changed, correct? Previously, women were not uh, doing that much uh, works or the jobs. Now, women are dominantly uh, over the men also in some of the industries like hospitality management and tourism sectors as well as you can just see marketing also. 
in this also women's are also become excel that means over the few years women participation in the workforce has been changed and there are no longer ignored the selection of criteria for a certain kind of jobs still certain kind of jobs actually women are excel women are perfect in that they are doing like that that means here here over a period of time the results are changing or not gender discrimination is trying to reduce there is no discrimination is happening previously it was there now it is not there means over a period of time observation over a period of time actually not maintaining and stability but this stability is been with a rate of change stability means it may not be giving a result but the result is being changed in with a whatever the changes are happening in the outside as per the reality that is what uh, diachronic reliability next quixotic reality reliability quixotic reliability this is means a single method which sing, a single method of observation yields the same measurement over and over again same measurement over and over again single method of observation let us take the example again the gender discrimination the subjects are asked in the question like do you believe in equality of the men and women this is what the question when we ask to anyone undoubtedly they will say no because they will say no i don't believe in gender discrimination i don't believe in gender discrimination i believe that everybody is equal like that people will say outside they are just forced it to forced to say or pretended to say otherwise don't know how other people will think about me if i say yes there is a gender discrimination should be there like that so they are just Unfa unfailingly answer obtained is yes do you believe in equality of the men and women yes they will say equality only or gender discrimination should be there they will say no it should not be there but the reality observed around us is actually different what they will say they will not follow they will say equality must be there but in practical they will not follow we may conclude that the finding has only quixotic reliability because people are giving answer they think that it is correct because they do not wish to offend anyone they don't want to lose their name in front of anyone that is why they are telling yes equality means yes equality must be there so it is probably a good idea to ask a different kind of question like do you think that women professionals are as competent as their uh, met colleagues means how are the colleagues other colleagues are working is this women colleagues are that much competent as compared to them if you are asking them na then you will be getting a various 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 answers somewhere the uh, testing will be reaching to a reliable test because when you are answering this type of question it will be more varied and reflect the reliability but reality better correct na when you keep on twisting the question do you believe in gender discrimination if the people will say no no do you believe in equality then they will say no that means contradictory result they themselves agreeing for that whatever the answer which is given previously for that question it has been contradicted by another question somewhere by that confusion we will bring it into the reality what is there in their mind that is what quixotic reliability next is that synchronic reliability this refers to similarity of observations within the same time period similarity of observation within the same time period which can be evaluated by comparisons of the same data by the different methods same data i am taking the data comparing with a one method another method third fourth methods different different methods i am applying to get the reliability because whether that this data is syncing with other methods or not is not uh, called as a synchronic method whether my data if i sync with other methods will i be getting a same results or not that is what a synchronic reliability if i am getting it same time period with the same data for different methods are giving a same results then that is reliable one so kirk and miller has very interesting paradox is given this is since uh, synchronic reliability is often more useful if it is absent and in other words if different methods are approaches to problem thrown up to a different results it may alert the quantitative researcher to obtain certain aspects of the problem that she or he had not considered before means by performing a different different methods na different methods will be having different variables so by performing the synchronic test he will get to know what are the variables in the research that he ignored previously or not considered previously
in that way it will be useful for the researcher to have this synchronic reliability i hope i am clear with this concept of three types of reliability which is given by kirk and meller and this is a previous year question let's look into that which of the following reliability techniques are used in qualitative research they didn't mention the author but options are telling about the author diachronic quixotic synchronic and hosley constant and uh, chronobach alpha so answer this question it will be easy for you to answer in the comment box i will be telling the answer in the comment box thank you so much please do hit a like button and do not forget to subscribe and bell, uh, press the bell icon do share with your friends also. We'll be meeting in the next video.